Hey loves and welcome back guys. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing and filming equipment updates guys. I'm going to be unboxing our new camera on here and this one is the Canon EOS R8. I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing first impression. I'll leave all the details down in the description box so you guys can check it out but I'm currently filming with my Canon M6 Mark II and I felt like I wanted a full frame camera something that was still budget friendly and easy to move around portable right portability was key obviously you do get the manual and all of that jazz um standard we have the charger over here we have the battery over here we have the camera strap over here and in here i really want to just kind of see what this quality looks like compared to my camera now, i did get the camera with the kit lens which is a 24 to 50 mm lens i think right but to be honest with you you can definitely just get the body and skip this lens and we have lastly <gasps> the body of the camera guys so this camera is pretty similar to the EOS R, EOS RP and the EOS R6 Mark II. So this is what it looks like. It is so like, it is lightweight, but it does have weight. And if I'm being honest with you, I feel like right now, now like 2024, this would definitely be the best to get for any beginner who wants to kind of transition from creating beginner level content to pro level content with this you have that option with this camera you do have a flip out screen so that way you can vlog on the go and you can kind of see what you're creating i bought this camera for the intentions of using this as my main camera but also alternating it as my vlogging camera as well whenever i want um, to create high quality 4k content whether it's like an event type of content or just something i want like high production that's what this one is for as well i want to quickly test this i'm going to use the battery i want to see what the quality of the camera looks like i'm gonna put in my sd card and leave that now i also did get a couple of lenses i got the 50 mm lens which is pretty much standard this is the rf 50 mm lens I got the 16 mm lens to kind of vlog with like i said so that way i have like a wide view and i also got like the ef2 eos r adapter so that way i could use my existing lenses with this camera as well and lastly we got the 35 mm lens this is what i'm going to be trying out today right now i'm currently filming with my canon eos m6 mark ii with my sigma 30 f1.4 lens right now this one is a 35 f1.8 lens so this kind of it's kind of close in terms of the lens range so i want to kind of compare what it looks like filming with like a 30 mm lens 35 mm lens um compared to like an aps-c crop sensor camera which is what my camera is and a full frame camera right but also kind of see what the quality is like if there's a difference in terms of quality I am recording in 1080p. Let me unbox this as well. Wow. Okay. It does have, it has weight to it. This is what the 35 mm lens looks like. So I'm quickly going to just put this so I can see right off. Let me right there Ooh, i'm so excited for this okay, let me just turn this on quickly so we can see the quality mm, okay i want to try and adjust the settings so that way we have similar settings and we are comparing this i'm filming in fhd i'm filming in standard mode let me adjust the settings let me see minus two Mm, okay so this is what the 35 mm lens looks like from like arm's length i'm gonna just put this on my tripod close to my camera so that way we could see what it looks like compare it side by side and see what this quality 
is giving, but I kind of like it. Okay. So this is what the Canon EOS R8 with the Canon 35 mm lens looks like, guys. Like I said, because this is a full frame camera, you're getting more frame in here compared to the M6 Mark II, which is kind of like typed and like cropped basically. This is a full frame camera while this is a crop sensor camera. You guys can see the difference that it makes. You have more view in here with the full frame, which is why what I kind of wanted. What I'm particularly eager to see is if there's a difference in terms of like the quality. What do you guys think? I'm gonna switch over to my 50mm lens. Okay, now I feel like they're a bit similar now in terms of the field of view, just that I'm not centralized. But I feel like the EOS R is more sharper and has like a deeper contrast. I can see the blacks popping up and guys, they're in the same exact settings. So I wanna know, maybe it's the lens or is the camera quality, but I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, this is the quality that we're getting. Let me test the autofocus. What is the quality like? Let me come up close. The colors are more vibrant on the R8. Like they are at the same exact setting, so. <laughs> But yeah, guys, if you want to know the specs of this camera, let me know down in the comment section. I feel like I just wanted to do like an unboxing and like an initial try on and review to see what it looks like. And also to compare it with my existing and current camera that I always film with. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Is there like a difference in terms of the quality? Also, I want to know which one looks more blurry. Is it the R8 or the M6 Mark II? I am so excited. I can't wait to start filming with this camera, creating amazing content for you guys. But yeah, um, if you want to know more details, want more reviews, in-depth reviews, any questions you might have, let me know that in the comment section. But I just wanted this video to be like a, an unboxing, review, initial try on, first impression basically. Yeah, I'll definitely see you in the next one. Till then, make sure you stay blessed and you stay fabulous. Bye guys.